During Marathon Week, Central Park is overrun. But one group stands out by what they stand on, nothing. Going barefoot has just made my feet come alive. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's a small but growing group that swears going barefoot or in the flimsiest of footwear is actually the key to injury-free distance running. They land with their heel. John Durant heads the New York chapter of the 1,400-member Barefoot Runner Society. The foot has been around for millions of years. It works. Chris McDougall will be among a handful of barefooters in Sunday's marathon. McDougall discovered the ancient Tarahumara tribe in Mexico. They run 60 miles at a time over rough terrain in tiny sandals or with nothing on their feet. The way the Tarahumara run is very light, quick, gentle, and relaxed, just like any five-year-old who skips off across the playground. I mimic the way they run, and within a matter of days, the injuries disappear. His best-selling book claims today's padded, cushioned, thick rubber-soled shoes actually promote injuries by forcing runners to land on their heels. Harvard University studies show large shock waves shoot through a runner's leg during these heel strikes. Landing on the balls of your feet means three times less shock. There really is a new category on the market now. David Willey, the editor of Runner's World magazine, says the barefoot craze is no longer a fad. Not with big manufacturers like Nike fighting for a toehold in the growing minimalist market. So the challenge is to market the minimalist shoes in a way that doesn't signal that everything that has come before these is wrong. So is there a secret here? Listening to the converts, ow, I agreed to try the goofy looking five fingers running sock. Boy, this is tricky. I'm not sure I can pass the idiot's test here. The real workout was just getting them on. Okay, let's go, baby. They felt comfortable and definitely altered my stride. But maybe some other time. I'm going with all the padding and cushioning I can find for the agony of defeat. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.